Hey, what's going on YouTube? Will here from All Electric, back again with another video. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about the true maintenance costs of your Tesla Model 3. Huge shout out to Akrama Tool and Nikola Pro supporting this channel at the All Electric tier. Thank you guys so much for supporting me on Patreon. One of the first questions that I get in regards to maintenance on a Model 3 is oil changes. What? Which seems really silly, but for a non-EV driver, someone driving a gas-powered car, they're used to going to their dealer or their auto shop to get an oil change every couple months. In a Tesla Model 3, yes, you guessed it, if you're new to this community, there is no oil changes. There's no oil in the car. So since there's no regular oil changes, what's something else that you need to have replaced on your car? One of the only real things that needs to be replaced is your windshield wipers. Regular maintenance items such as tires are just like regular gas cars, although I would say Teslas, since they are heavier because of that big battery pack, in some cases, depending on how you drive, the tires do need to be replaced more frequently than a similar sized gas car. Other than tires, there's just windshield wipers and windshield washer fluid. That's your regular maintenance. That's something that during the year you need to check on. And really the only other thing besides replacing your tires is getting a tire rotation. A tire rotation from Tesla can cost as much as 120 bucks, although enough people complained and now they lower that cost to I believe $90 at my local service center. I choose to go to my local just regular tire shop because they do the tire rotation for me for about $35. And I think 35 bucks is a fair price considering all they're doing is rotating the tires front to back which takes about 10 minutes. So the only real regular maintenance that needs to be done is your windshield wipers. So let's go over that process right now. Let's figure out how to change those out. So what I have here is if you search Model 3 windshield wipers on Amazon, I actually have the top three search results here. And as I take them out of the box, you're gonna see that all of them are identical. So if you're searching on Amazon for a new set of wipers, meaning that your wipers are torn, or you're just noticing that the performance has decreased over time, which is about every year, I would say, wipers kind of go bad and you need to put on some new wipers, depending on if your car is always outside or you keep it in the garage. The first box of wipers that I opened actually came from a model3part.com. They do sell them on Amazon, but if you check the link down below and go to model3part.com and enter all electric four in the coupon code section at checkout, you can actually save 20% off of these wipers. So now that I got them all out of the box, you can tell that they are all identical. I mean, the first two that I opened, the Model 3 part one, and then the second one I opened, actually have a green protector cover over the part of the wiper that touches the glass. Okay, now that we cracked open the wiper, how exactly do you install the new ones? Now, if you look at your car, the wipers are tucked underneath the hood, and there's definitely not a great way to pull them out, or is there? Well, let's jump into the car and go into our settings and service under the car menu or the settings menu, and look at the top and we can see wipers in service mode. And if we go back out, you can see that the wipers are stuck halfway out so you can then service your wipers. Really convenient, they do think of everything. So you can see there's a little button on top and mine was stuck a little bit. This is a 2018 and this is the first time I've changed out the wipers. Now, so it was a little stuck for me and I had to kind of shimmy it out and use a little bit more force and I didn't want to break it, but it did eventually come out as soon as I just made sure the button was depressed all the way and then, and then pulled the wiper straight out. Now, if we take this wiper that came from the Tesla factory and compare it with the Model3Part.com wiper, you can see that it is literally identical. I mean, it is the exact same wiper that you get with your brand new Tesla, although the one from Model3Part looks new because it hasn't been sitting in my car for a couple years. So you can tell that it is identical to the factory part that you get with your new Tesla. And I am recording this audio after the fact and I have tested this in the rain, it was rainy here, and they do perform just as good as a brand new set of wipers do on your new Tesla. So you can see I'm trying to get an up close view here, although it is hard because they're black, but trust me when I say they look and feel just like the regular wipers that you get on your Tesla. So once you have your new wipers, all you need to do is 
line up the plastic piece on top of the wiper blades and make sure obviously that the wiper part is down. It did take me a second to line it up properly and then it just simply snaps right in and a little button is exposed. But now to put your wipers back tucked normally, you just go back into the car and then turn off that switch and you can see that the wipers go down immediately. One other piece of maintenance that I definitely wouldn't consider regular is the air filter. So I'll put a link to this product down below if you guys are interested, but it's definitely not a regular maintenance item. This is a 2018 Model 3. Now I don't have many miles and it still has the original air filter. So I haven't changed the cabin air filter. Many people I've seen on Twitter have said that they've noticed like a wet dog kind of smell and I definitely have never experienced that. So that's why I've never replaced the filter. So if I do experience that, then I will replace the filter. Super easy to do. I'm not gonna go over that in this video. There's plenty of other people on YouTube that have gone over that. But another maintenance item, I didn't wanna pass over and get a bunch of nasty comments saying I forgot the air filter. I didn't forget the air filter. I just don't think that it's a regular, kind of an annual maintenance item. Although Tesla might recommend it and some other OEMs recommend replacing the cabin air filter on an annual basis in their car. But I see it as kind of wasteful if there's no real smell. I definitely go in once a year and check the filter to make sure it's not blocked with anything like a leaf or something like that that got in there but not a regular maintenance item. Now on model3part.com, I did notice another product that I wanted to share with you that has to do with the center armrest. Now I wanna share this with you just because I thought it was pretty cool. Now it's not a, something for this bottom part, but rather this upper part. And you're probably like, what are you talking about? But the picture on their website says it all. It actually is like a secret hidden compartment in the armrest that creates this little box using a well-designed piece of plastic and it's just a really cool product and also eligible for the 20% off if you use all electric four. I'll leave all that info down below and it just sits right there. All you have to do is pull off these little sticky pieces which kind of was a pain in the butt but it's just double-sided 3M tape. That's all it is and once you get the little pieces off then it sticks right into this cavity here and creates a nice little hidden pocket. You could throw like a wallet in there or if you had cash or I'll give the example of like a gift card or something that could fit in there, something that you want to keep nice and safe. Really a well-designed piece that I think is an underutilized space in your car. So it's nice and you can see the gift card fits really easy in there and it just slides right up. So I'll leave a link to this down below in the description and again, don't forget to use the promo code that gets you 20% off. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, share this video with a friend, and don't forget push, to push, hit push, that push, subscribe push button. button. As always guys, I'll see you in the next one.